seems like hands and feet are the two things that everybody has so much difficulty with. And primary, the primary thing with both, both is that they tend to appear so complex. And the whole approach to drawing uh, both, actually, is taking and approaching from a really quite simple point of view. Now, the first, first part where we really take and deal with the foot, and I'm going to go through several things here, basic, just sort of the shape, construction, and then we'll do some of the muscles and stuff. But the first, the first thing where we, the foot really begins at the ankle. That's where we start. So if you look at, if you look at these ankles, what we have is the shape, where the way the tibia and the fibula come down, it creates sort of a horseshoe shape. To the so what I'm dealing with then, and we're looking at this, to really visualize, visualize this shape that's coming across here, really fitting over the front. You really feel it's like a cap fitting over the side. This is really the part, in fact, that there's actually it's not just a line, there's thickness to it. There's a corner, you have a corner that comes out, the corner goes away. Okay. And the basic landmark that we focus on is the fact that the outside is low and the inside is high. And actually you have to really you have to really push that because you see it quite often. If you're not consciously thinking about it, it's very easy to just reverse it and something like that, and it really looks sort of fun. So you really got to keep that keep that in mind. So we're always focusing on this angle going across. Now, to start out, starting out very very simply with the foot, we really go for the gesture first. And actually, we could even going back and look to we go back into the uh, upper leg a little bit. We're coming through. We're looking at the profile. Now. If you look, if you look at the starting at the knee. That we came down from the thigh, the knee coming in, the calf coming out, and the leg on the inside, or uh, the front, the, uh, you can really sort of first start thinking of this, well, this is just a simple line that feeds in, that we've got going through. I'm treating it very, very simply now. A simple. <coughs> now, Taking this simple shape to start with, and this is really the problem most people have trouble with, is they make too many lumps. Okay. Start with looking at the foot is to begin with as being almost a, a sort of a right angle, 30-60 degree uh, triangle. Here. So you come down, it's this. And in most cases, that line is practically a straight line. You have to imagine the foot has to fit inside a shoe. Okay, that's really so this this line, this very, 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 very simple line, and you can actually think of this as just as something that flows in to start going through here. Now, when you start getting away from a the profile, then that's when we start getting into a little more difficulty. So I'm gonna start uh, actually from the back. I'm gonna work our way around the back. It becomes important now that you look at the back, you look at the back of the wall. First of all, you can see how this is really like a rocker fitting on here. Now, so that what we have here is that the heel is actually offset. In other words, it really the center of the heel is taking and coming over more through the center between the two. Uh, coming through in here. We've got this point here that you're working with. Now, so we have also, and I'm going to turn this around a little bit. If you look at this, see we're coming back, just going over, getting in and down. That this is really, you can see where the bone actually comes down now. It's got, uh, we have a thick on the three quarter here. So you can really feel that this is coming out this way. This is overset, set over. Now this comes through. Now this calcaneus bone 
taking, coming away, it's moving over. It's coming out this way. And it's got this shape, looking through, and back. So we've got this really, these corners here now. This is really coming down, fitting in, this is going over, the outside over here. So this is really offset from this whole thing. Now, so we end up with a hollowing here, that is, we start to take and go back. Now, if we look at the outside again, you can see that this really comes down this pretty low here. Really coming down, the way it fits down in here, the way it pulls down over here. When we look at this, the proportions, the proportions of the foot. First of all, the foot is about the size of your head. Okay, the halfway mark on the foot is from here to here. Here, in other words, the, where your uh, metatarsal bones start. So this distance from here to here, here, in other words, your arch. Now, that's the overall way from here to here to here. Then, from the little toe, from here, gets to from here to here. In other words, from this point here to here is your halfway point on the outside of the foot. The overall proportion is from here to here. So now we've got these distances. Now, the overall, when it's shaped, I was starting out looking at this is really pushing out on this side. You can see that we have this hollow space through here. We've got this hollow space through here. When we turn this around now, you, look at, you can see how the, from the big toe, this creates this big channel that is taking it right up this way. So you look at this now. Now, try to always think of this, of the bone here, the tibia, is taking and having a thickness. No, there's actually sort of a, a, this arc that takes across through here. You can feel, you can see the angle in here that takes and pulls up. We're going over, and we're coming out. This is thinking in, I'm going to drop this in tone here so you can get a side to this thing. This is coming underneath. Now, I'm going to simplify this whole thing. The combination of your tarsal and metatarsal bones coming down to your big toe here now is taking and coming down at an angle. You have a center line here, coming through, and we're pulling down through the air, and then we're moving down. Now, you can see that with the setback in here, it's really going, and this, this is an important part of the thing. Though. You need to really be, have this as a conscious sense of what you're doing when you're drawing the foot now. Let me see, this is way underneath now. Here. Coming back, we're set and set over here. So we have this hollow coming through this to here. See here, so that when you're looking from the back like this, it's your corner. You can see that this section now, and I'm going to draw this almost like a, thinking of a cylinder here, going back in this way. The actual the arch of the up here in the bone going right back. But this is going back in, so we have this pull coming through. So this is what we're seeing. This all this now is going back in through here. Now, this is emphasizing this so much here. What this translates into when you're drawing now, going back to looking at the front of the foot, you can see that as we thinking about all this is going underneath, the inside of the foot then is relatively straight. With these are coming out this way, the outside goes off at an angle like this. 
So now, taking our simple shape that we've got going here, and looking at this a little, carrying that simple shape a little bit farther down, and we're turning it a little bit three quarters. So now I'm coming in with the idea of just blocking in very quickly, taking this, seeing, going over the surface like this. Now I'm drawing this as a, a simple shape of a 3D type of thing. The heel is going out and back here. Now, what we have here is you have to think of the foot as having a series of planes. That it's like in your hand, you have a, a your center knuckle is raised and you slope from one side to the other. Well, we actually have that. You can see that you have your arch. This goes this way, and then it goes this way. So we have, from this point here, there's a center here. There's a pull going this way, and we start to take, and now we're doing this. So, in other words, we can also take, we can also take and break this down as even simpler. Start with, okay. we've got this as a, taking the, even the top part here, seeing this is almost as a, without dealing so much with the shakers, to visualize this almost like a block that's taking and coming down like this. And then we get a series, series of planes now that are going to take and come out that's fitting onto this flat platform of the foot. Now I'm really turning this into a series of very, very simple planes that we're looking at across, down the side, we're coming out on the side, coming through, going through this way. So it's almost like a design for a shoe, where you were carving something out of this. So we've got this pull coming down. So now we're really visualizing, we're visualizing these, this volume as we come down as these bones take and come down through and here this way. Through here. Now, going back to the heel again. Now, the way the muscles come down to here, we have your Achilles tendon coming down and attaching to the end of the heel here. In other words, the tendons, the tendons are pulling, come down and pull down, so you look at the heel and profile here now, coming down, through, and through. Your tendon, now this is the tendon for the uh, gastrocnemius and the solus muscle coming down and attaching here. Right at this point, there's actually a, a bursa, a pad that protects the tendon from the bone here. It's all attaching on the end here like this. So what we get looking from the back then, we get at this point here. Let's draw this in a little different color now. So now we're talking about this, we have the tendon attaching at this point right here. Cutting down. So we can feel this. So this is a strong pull that we get coming down through here. Now, so we feel the shape of the bone here now. So this coming over and here. Now, one of the primary characteristics of the foot is actually the padding on the foot. Much more. We haven't talked about muscles at all yet. You know, we're just talking about just general shapes of things. The biggest shape that we really deal with is the padding on the foot. Now the padding, the padding on the foot is really like your, uh, your footprint. You all, know, you walk on the sand or wet cement with your bare feet. You see this shape. Padding, the pads and the foot, of course, are functional. They take and work where we take and put the foot on the ground. So 
So you have this whole ridge along here. You have the heel, and we have the points on here. That's where the padding goes. So this is really very, very, very thick that we're dealing with. So when you look at the bones then, I'm going to add the pad here, the pad of the foot, of the heel particularly now. You can see how thick it's going to go. Like this is the thickness we're dealing with now. This is really, it's a very, very thick shape, or this shape in here. The pad goes underneath the bone here. Actually, in a profile shot, if we look at the way the bone comes down here, that pad will take and come up around the corner. And this will come down and go like this. So this has an awful lot to do with the overall shape now that we think of in terms of the heel coming through. And now, so we're talking about the bone, the tendon, and the pad coming through. Okay. Now, as we're going through, as you're going through, through all of these different parts now, coming through, and you're feeling these things, the inside of the foot now, this is where we're drawing at the inside becomes a straight line, the outside is curved. This is pulling around. So as we come through now, work around. So as I start to draw this again, looking from the inside, like over the arch, yeah, I'm taking and I draw, literally draw over the surface like this, picking up the tendon in the back, and we come down and feel the heel back here. First in your mind now is visualize this whole section coming forward. And we can start to see that the pad, as I draw this pad, it has to take and come from around here, goes through, and it goes in. So we're coming across a corner and turning and going in. Then we're coming out and through, out and here. So all you can see is we're going over the surface, coming down, going in. Now, what happens in here is that on both sides you have these uh, abductors. You have large abductors and flexors that are taking and coming down from here, coming across from here, and going across this way. We also have a whole series of uh, muscles that are coming from inside here and going out to the toes this way, just like you would in, in your hand coming through. So we've got this shape coming across here. We have a vector for your little toe area here, coming from here, going from here, and then going across through here. Okay. So the shape then, we're looking at this point here, we're talking about something now that is pulling across from here and going over and fitting into here. So you can see this pole coming across from here. You think of where the bone is, and then we're thinking of the pad of the foot taking coming across and it's going underneath. This way. Now we've got this thing coming through. Now, when we start coming into, let's just think of the big toe for a bit. You're coming through. You have your tarsal bone. Here, in other words, like your wrist. You have either two rows of bones coming through to where the arch is at this point right here. Now we're dealing with the big toe. And this comes forward now. This way. Now, underneath your big toe, you have you have these points here. These, these are like uh, your uh, they're sesamoid bones. They're like your kneecap. They're like uh, levers that the muscles make you pull over. They're not actually welded to the metatarsal here. They're sitting on top of this point here. So you've got these two bumps here. So as we come down, now let's, let me draw that separately here for a second. We're coming down, Look at the bone. You notice that it's arched, same as in the hand. 
Got this curved surface, come down and just corners. And then some sort of ball in here, and we start off the joint going through, and we come up again. But underneath you've got balls here. Okay. If you're thinking of this as now, just imagine yourself walking on this ball. Well, you don't. <coughs> you have these big pad that is protecting your foot underneath that, coming through this way. So we've got this guy comes halfway into the joint here. This is coming down, it's got this big pad, so we have the joint here. The pad now, you can see, is coming up underneath that. So that's what we're talking about right here. You've got the pad, pad coming up underneath. You know, you, you, here's the knuckle, and through, and you feel the thickness here. The pad comes out and it's turning right underneath this one. But now you can see where much of that roundness that we often feel here, I mean, truly, you can think of where the corner of the bone is back here. Here we've got the actual, you can feel the corner of the bone from here, coming down. Your Achilles tendon coming down through here, going through. And all of this is taking and tucking, coming out and going through. And it's working over this bony structure that we're dealing with. Now, as the toe pulls out here, as we come out of this part here, it's important to be really conscious of the fact, and this is again something that will come up again when we do with the hands, is that the pad of the foot goes halfway to where the joint is. So, if you're looking at this, here's the joint right here. The pad is coming all the way over here. So then we take, and we take the knuckle again is square here, and we're stepping down to here, and so we get the pad of the big toe, then coming out the big toenail on that. I have a friend who uh, has a friend who lost his thumb in an industrial accident, and so pretty hard to work without a thumb. So what they did is they took and removed his big toe and put it in the place of his thumb. And he said, it's really pretty amazing. It looks like a big toe, but it works like a thumb. But the idea, and this is the interesting point that I never, I did not realize uh, until quite recently, that most of your balance is due to your little toe, not your big toe. That you can lose a big toe but it's really in trouble if you start losing little toe. It's much harder to walk and maintain the sense of balance. So this is an important part here. So it's the big toe. So we're now you can see where I'm pulling stuff going over, thinking of the squareness of the top of the knuckles coming down. And pad. Since we're talking about pad, the big toe actually has, and the way to think about this is three pads. Going through. Round, and then the one on the end. So it's this really thick volume thing. And we step down as we look at this more larger profile here. When you come through, you think of the corners of the knuckle coming down. The shaft, which does not touch the bone really, and the pad coming down this way. And the pad here and the joint is over here. And this is coming down that way. What that creates then is from the pad of the foot to the knuckle creates a diagonal line inside. So that when we're drawing this then, and this is actually, if you think of uh, wearing uh, thongs, you have this space in between here that we then take and we can see and it's always a good idea if you can, you, this, I'm stretching the point here, that at this point, you probably wouldn't see that, but uh, taking and creating this bit of a hollow so you can, that we would take and feel these things. Notice the pattern I'm creating here, that we're going from the horizontal 
to a down, to an out, this way. And with these knuckles, then we would even, even have more of a plane because you've got an extra joint. Remember, you look at the foot, just like your fingers, you know, like your thumb, you have two, two joints here. Here we got three sections, two to three. So we got this working out that way. So we've got, we've got this play of these things going down. So you feel this is pulling in, going through, going down. Now, I'm going to take in, it's got a clean sheet here, and we'll take and uh, start working with the outside and go back up to the leg a little bit. <coughs> now, we'll draw a little larger scale here. Going back, going back up, up into the leg here. This is repeating a little bit what we did about the last session. Remember that this ridge of the uh, tibia is really the point. This line across here is the line that we really feel where the muscles start to be pulled down into the ear. So we have all of your all of your extenders that are taking and pulling out through this way. So if we start with the fibula is in the back here, but we're pulling down. I'm drawing this slightly three-quarter view now. You know, the shin pulling out. I always try to feel that there's actually a corner here. It's not just that. And you get the fibula pulling down. Pulling out of here. Going over this surface, feeling the arc, thinking this is a simple line, feeling the pull down, coming through. Think of the bone going back, feeling the tendon coming down to that, thinking of the pad. Now, the simple formula that I use for taking and drawing the side of this taking the pad into consideration as I'm doing it, is just a very, in other words, I'm just taking and doing something like this. Now that just is a simple lay in the line, is taking in the indication of this, the bump at the end of the bone here. Okay. Now, the simple volumes that we've got going down through here. And down through here. Now, the two, uh, really, uh, probably the two most important, or actually it was three, but uh, the two groups of muscles are your coronis longus and brevis muscles, which are taking and pulling from in here. Okay. Take and come down and go behind your ankle bone. Okay, the brevis is attaching over to here. The longus takes and cuts underneath the foot and comes over and attaches over here, underneath the uh, beginning of your big toe. This is going all the way underneath the foot, but it's starting, it's starting up in this area right here. We really see these as very clear-cut line of the tendons along this point right here. And so we're feeling the Going behind, behind the fibula, we feel, sometimes we feel the line coming across here. Uh, not always, but almost always we feel this line of the tendon. The muscles actually are stopping someplace up the long in here, this way. One muscle is on top of the other muscle. So these are your uh, piranus longus and brevis muscles. Now, the make or, or matching movement to this is your uh, tibius anterior muscle. This is a pretty good sized muscle. This is pulling from in here. And again, we talked about this before. This comes down and goes underneath the foot this way and then takes and attaches right next to or the other one was attached. They're both attaching the same spot right here, just on opposite sides of the bone. So what we have then is we were talking about these two mates now, one going through in here, the other taking and coming down, going through, and takes and cuts across and goes underneath the foot coming through and here. So quite often we feel this is a very, very strong shape then coming out of here. 
this way. Okay. Now, in between, we had all of the extenders that are coming through. The common muscle with all of the different and pulling through all of this stuff coming out, going out to the toes this way. Now, uh, there's actually a, an extend. This is the extender longus. So you have a brevis, which becomes works out of this area right here and is going diagonally underneath to the points. This is the muscle that you quite often for dancers becomes a very very prominent shape that we see. So this will be taken and become will become a rather full form in here that these other tendons are going over. And these are going out, out to the to different toes then. So now we're getting this volume here, and I'm going back. We've got the Achilles tendon back here, coming down. We've got the heel coming through, coming in. We've got the pad of the foot coming through, coming out. Then we start working out into the toes themselves off this way. Now, we need to feel this corner here a bit more. Through. We go. Now, there are all kinds of straps now that are working over this surface. Now, we also have a big toe muscle, which is equivalent to like your thumb. You have these muscles that cut across and going underneath this way. Well, we have exactly the same thing, thing too, except we have the distance in here, so this tendon with the big toe will be taking coming off, off here like this. And this takes and comes across, and the muscle then is taking going back up in here. Through this. Now, so if I take and let's take, uh, you want to feel the elements here. Now we've got a corner here. So going over the surface. You've got your, maybe I could need to maybe pull all this back a little bit. But this is coming through in here. Across your tendon is coming up through here. Well, feel the, the bump where we have this bursa and your Achilles tendon. Got the pads coming through, stepping down. This is a plane across here. You want to feel this really comes out. That pad is way thicker than any of those uh, you can probably imagine. Coming through. Here. Now, as we start coming out to the toes, what you try to vision now is that each each one of the toes has a certain characteristic shape to it. So we take in this the idea with this as a pattern type thing. The first, the big toe, of course, it is somewhat uh, more like a screwdriver, you say. Your, your next toe is a little bit square. Uh, the next one is starts to be a little pointed, or we say rounded and pointed. Then we start to become more pointed until pointed the little toe, very definitely pointed. So this, but each one of them have, have a, has, a, has a different look to it. Now, the shapes that you deal with. Okay, going back, we're talking about the fact that the pad of the foot is bigger than the top, just like the palm of your hand. That we take it and we have an angle then from the knuckle. We have an angle from the knuckle here, going down. There's the joint underneath the pad in here. As the bone comes out, I'm not drawing the thumb, I'm not drawing the big toe now. It comes out this way. Then we're taking, and as you start to go through, through these steps, you have one, two, and three. This. Pad of the foot coming down through here. This pad is coming over here. You have this diagonal going across this way. 
you have the space in here, the pad of your toes actually goes up halfway now to a, through here. So again, you've got this, this, and this. As you stand, your toes are going continually flexing like this. So the grab your elbows, grabbing the floor and balancing yourself. So that what goes on with the toe, the toe is going to be going straight out this way. And then as you're balancing yourself, it gripping, gripping the, the floor this way. So what we have then in general though, we have this plane that is going, so when you're looking straight at the floor, I mean, again, I'm going to give you a very simple formula. Is they look through the front, the rim, and I'm using the standard, you know, the inside is straight, outside goes out. Now, as I come through here, I'm giving a little bit of a bunion. Coming through, through, pushing down, going across, down. Hit the knuckle, through, down. And big toe and over. Get space in between. Now what I do here is I take and treat this section as the first part of the toe. I treat that like a cylinder. My thinking now is a cylinder going away from me. So what I do in drawing, I'm just putting a toe over the surface. So watch what happens here as I go through this now. I'm just taking and drawing this, thinking of this knuckle here, goes back. I come through, hit the knuckle, come down, hit the toe that's coming on toward me. So what I've done is this, this, and that. Just using a little bit of toe. So each one of the lines, and I really recommend that as you're drawing, as you're drawing toes, count. <laughs> if you find it becomes less embarrassing down the line. <laughs> what you're taking, you see I'm just drawing over the surface, through. And we have our basic setup for the toe. Pretty simple, actually. So now the idea of taking and using this tone as the thing is going away from me to hit the top of the tone, well we do the same thing now for the arch. Coming in, and you're starting to feel. You know. So, see what I'm doing now is I'm keeping fairly, very simple, very whole on pointing. Now, the part, the area that most people have difficulty with is when you start to show the underside of the foot. Now, what you have to keep in mind is that when we're doing the underside of the foot, that we have to make a transition from the foot into the leg. And it's the transition, it's a transition that becomes the hard part. Okay. So in doing that now, let's make a, a typical angle here that we get foot coming up. Um, first I'm going to draw this like a plank. And just so I want you, you can see, see how I'm uh, visualizing this thing. This is just a, a plank. That's going out, that we have to take and attach to this cylinder going back in. Now, if we draw a line straight across like that, which is what a lot of people do, they'll take it, they do and tie all of this in, and then they try to do something here. Well, it's always going to look like a, a hat that goes inside of the shoe. What we have to do is we have to take into consideration the distance. This, the pad is a raised surface. So as I take this work at this now, I'm right away I'm thinking, okay, here's your, here's the big toe area. This is the shaft going back up that way. We're going up and fitting into this surface. You see what I'm breaking this down now? It's a very, very simple type of thing got the heel that's coming back down around. This is going over. We have a side and we have a plane that's going through and this is working around. 
Now I'm taking and building this thing now. And as I'm doing this, I'm taking and thinking dimension the whole time. So now as I draw this thing, I'm taking and going over the corner. I'm pushing, I'm going over this surface that's going down. And I'm feeling this pull, we're pushing down that way. But we're getting right away now, I'm emphasizing this pad up here. The shaft, we would have the knuckle up in here. We feel the side of this going up to it. The shaft the toe, and then I hear I'm just going to treat this as a basically you see I'm drawing this path. This will be coming through. Now, the surface down here, we have to be pulling through. I'm coming through. I want to avoid drawing lines that are closing this thing off. I want to come down around over the wheel back here. I push the side. I'm working with lines that are going over the surface to describe the form. I'm coming around with that. The field pulling out through here. Figure where are these toes would be out here. It's always a good idea to keep in mind what the actual shape the actual shape of a shoe is. We take the take a just a pattern of it here. We have the very women's shoe particularly you know, it becomes a little easier to take and actually see it. But we see the small heel, and then we generally have a fullness on the big toe side. And this side takes and comes out and we get to the This is the pattern, say, of a bottom of a shoe. So what I'm doing is I'm coming out, I'm compensating now, and so we want to feel this whole side is pushing down this way. I'm going over the surface. Take it over the surface. I'm going back. And through. Now, up here we would have the ankle bone. And we're going through. We would feel the arch up here. And we feel we're building this up even farther now. But I'm not going to draw a line across there. I want the eye to move through. So the whole ankle, of course, would have to be a lot thicker up here. Coming through, we start to pull. So everything is taking into consideration now the dimensions that I'm going around and over these surfaces, feeling the pad coming through. We have the side. Feel these as a shaft going back, turning. Corners, corners. You can actually take and start to feel where the bones would be coming through the joints here. Just come down, pull through. Now, there are a whole series of other muscles and stuff have talked about that take and really are we don't see them drawing wise they don't they don't function for us they're underneath the solus they're coming in here they're going through this point going over to the underside of the foot and part of this I and mean, there's basically roughly the three layers of muscles that we're dealing with that come from across that are pulling here so in this view you very very possibly you can start to see not only this coming across over to here, but we would start to feel some of the pull of these things coming from here. But those are, this is really the basics now of dealing with the foot. We want to see, we want to see all of these elements. We want to see the planes. Now, so I'm diagramming the plane over this, and down, you feel this coming through, coming across. Got this. Feel the knuckles up here. Good. Feeling the volumes going right over the surface. The toenail, the toenail becomes a tool for helping to show the dimensions of the toe. It becomes a way of taking and showing the 3D. So the knuckles go over the surface of the knuckles, come down, 
as we come over down to the cuticle area, you're drawing over a surface. And then we come out, and you see this is a surface that's coming out. Then we can pull a big toe, a padding up underneath the surface. So again, you're dealing with the 3D, carrying past the knuckle, carrying through. The best way to practice is to sit on the side of the bed and dry your feet looking in the mirror in the closet or somewhere else. And start to play with them. Now, this gives you a pretty good start on a thing. And everything is revolves around the basic structure of the thing. You're talking about the bones. I've talked very little about muscles. We have, we have all these muscles that do pull down. And we do feel tendons that take and pull out of here, coming through. We pick up the knuckles in here, right over the surface. But very rarely do you actually take and get an opportunity to take and deal with all that stuff, unless you're dealing with a close-up of somebody's lying in bed and their foot sticking out at you or something. It's usually we're dealing with very, very, very simple shapes. Notice that even here, even though I'm talking about muscles and bones and stuff, the actual line here, I can make a straight line. Very little, very little taking place here. And even if I come in here and I want to make, make the shapes and planes in here stronger, I do it working to the inside. Now as I pull this line forward, this is still staying there. I'm taking dealing with these planes coming through. We get the feeling for the warmth, and this is where the problem comes in, <coughs> is that we see all of these bumps, but the outside contour is simple. Okay, well, let's <coughs> now the first place I'll really focus and get the gesture, but I, at the beginning, I'm really taking a simple feeling of how the ankle it's into the foot. Well, very basic. Feel pulling through, wrapping underneath into the instep. Feel the calf coming from the back, come down into the heel. Now, important part here is to come around that heel is to take and as that comes forward, really think this is going underneath. So I'm really follow through going underneath. Then as I'm coming into the instep, I'm really coming through and coming around. Pulling out to the pad of the big toe. And then coming across. So I start with a very, very simple shape. One of the things that uh, giving you the sense of volume on a foot, well actually any place in the figure, but is to really take and concentrate on the overlapping of the forms. So now, coming back here to the inside ankle bone, feeling coming through in front, coming down. Now, as I'm doing this now, I'm taking and really concentrating on wrapping around the corner as this fits in. And I'm pulling from the back now, even though I can see very little of where the Achilles tendon attaches to the calcaneus bone, I want to fall through. I'm really thinking about it, and I'll actually emphasize this a bit. Just, just the slight change in the pressure, and come through and down, and I actually want to feel that heel pad, and uh, again going underneath. I'm spending a lot of time here now just trying to get the idea across of this overlapping and going underneath and over. Now, come through the same thing here, the actual bone has some thickness in here. So as it comes through, we want to also feel the tendons, muscles pulling through. So again, overlapping, going through, feeling this is fitting in, coming over that surface. The outside contour is really quite simple. Where we get the feeling for the volume is how we work to the inside forms. So pulling across here, 
uh, the change where we get the tarsal and the metatarsal uh, bones taking coming through now wide on the outside here coming down now here this is the uh, pole layer this is actually I think the tendon for the big toe going down and coming through you feel a pull this is actually heading which is different a lot of times this is confused with the one where the tibialis anterior would be coming down and going underneath this is taking really now this one is taking coming forward coming out now as I draw up into where the toes are here I really visualize this whole section as almost as if it was an amputation in here I want to see we were talking in the, in the lecture notes there that there's a, the pad comes halfway between where the joint is. So I'm visualizing this almost as, as if there was an amputation here. This is a flat, or I should say a diagonal plane going down. So the knuckle then is way back up here, going over, feeling the corners, going through. Feeling this has come down, this is the side, then we can feel the pad, the pressure going over. I'm drawing over that surface to emphasize now where we can feel the pad coming through. And then as I draw that pad like I did with the heel here, come down, this goes underneath. Here, if you come over the big toe pad here, got to visualize this is going underneath. Then they come forward. See again to the knuckle there, going across, it's a box, squarish form. And thinking of the shaft itself, and we're going through. In, right around. Then the pad for the big toe. So, doing the knuckle square, coming down, wrapping around over that surface. Feeling the shape of that pad now coming through. And then taking and adding the nail. The nail becomes a way of helping to show the three dimension of form. What's around and going over. Now, try to give a little bit of, uh, of space between the toes, because I really try to focus on the angle of that plane going back to where the knuckles are now back in here. So it's a good idea to, before you go too far along, is to take and actually uh, block in very simply. I've got the overall shape, but we need to just get a very, very simple statement of the toes. So you find that it becomes the, as I keep, I've said this probably several times, is that it is a good idea to count as you're doing the drawings now. So now again, we feel the tendon going through. Look for the knuckle going over the surface. Think of it slightly square here. Feel the corner back in here with the tendon pulling. Stepping down. Pressure is on this foot. Going down. Feel going again across the knuckle. And then we go through with a slightly squarish shape to this toe. The next one, come down, you feel. See, I mean, actually, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking of each separate section of the bone as it comes forward. Okay, through, stepping down, going through. Now as progressively as farther as I get back, I will tend to simplify the drawing as we're going through. Now I want to come across feel this corner. Now we're feeling the plane coming through. Feeling the tendon pulling down. Actually, try to sense that they're right at this point now. The center here, we actually have a change in the plane going from one side to the other. Now, from here, I want to take and pull, pulling tendons in front again, trying to come through and feeling the bone on the outside going through. But that gives us a fairly good start for the foot. 
Okay, now we're taking, again, we're doing uh, the same sort of inside view, but a little more of a profile. And the idea is to keep, I can't overemphasize the whole idea of making the thing very simple to start with. So I'm really pushing even, you know, if you're thinking the angle going across, very basic kind of shape. Now, from here, again, starting the point where it's visualizing the ankle well right over the surface. You really feel that pull coming through. Now, from here as I'm coming down, okay. looking, going, like, I'm always visualizing this volume. Now we've talked about this whole section in the lecture of how we feel this whole shaft of the big toe and the muscles taking and going back and fitting into the heel area. Now, see, you know, again, I'm really wrapping this around, so it, essentially I'm visualizing this as a cylinder going back here. Now, we come back, you know, where the bone is coming back out of here, the calcaneus bone, pulling, feeling the actual corner of the bone the tendons attaching, coming down. How does that come down with this? And uh, then I'm, I'm again, actually thinking of the pad of the foot. Pulling out, so I'll emphasize this slightly. Now as I'm coming across the whole thing again, I'm going underneath, over to the other side of the foot. So I'm feeling these surfaces going down, coming through. Now, as we come down from here, again, you've got a very, very simple shape here to start with, locking in. So what I do now is I'm really thinking of the bone. Come to a look to where the knuckle is in here. I'm thinking of the squareness of that knuckle coming across one side to the other. Then uh, visualizing the bone coming down. Then the pad taking and coming from that. Pulling down, coming across, and again, going underneath this way. So you're really thinking, is always wrapping around. So same kind of, let's go back up here where we can feel, and this overlapping, you feel where your tarsal bones are coming out. And you want to take and always visualize, again, this overlap. Here, you know, where the ankle bone is on the outside going down. On the inside, remember, it's high, high on the inside. So I need to pull, pull this up a bit. Start feeling the pulling through in here. This angle across here. And we also have a, a corner, actual corner of the bone here. We start to go over the surface. It's coming through. And coming in now. And feel the Achilles tendon coming down and fitting into that. So again, pushing these forms, fitting back in. I'm using the toe and just pushing back, going through, getting a bit of a corner, pushing back. I look to the change takes place here now before where the tarsal and metatarsal and through. Again, it's the corners, pushing it. There's actually a dividing line here now as we come down through this way. So the other side is going off, but the contour is still simple, even though at this point you feel an overlapping taking place as this comes forward. The outside is still continuing going off in this direction. Now, we come forward here, we can actually feel the tendon now again, pulling through to here. Going over the knuckles, coming down the side, feeling the fullness of this pad. Going through. Approach the big toe again. We're looking at the squareness where the pad comes halfway at least. And we come up to the knuckle, cross the corner, and over the side, feeling the shaft. It's fitting into the pad. Down. Then we feel the pad of the big toe. 
and I'm visualizing this is as a volume. Got the knuckle over here coming out, going around and over that surface, and then visualizing the nail as a way of going over the surface to help show the volume of the toe itself. Then now we've got basic things again. Try to indicate space in between the fingers. I mean the toes. And I to go through here, I'll take and and block in very simple form of shapes now. Notice what I was doing. I was actually going through the different steps and actually viewing it like a series of steps going down. Going through, down, going through. Again, taking the time to count a little bit. So now that gives us our basic blocking in of the foot. So you're thinking of the very simple shapes coming down. Visualize the corner. I'm taking and seeing the sides. Feeling tendons pulling in through the side. But now this gives us a, again, this is just a, essentially a repeat now of the other angle, just showing a little bit more of how this fits in. Okay, now let's carry through with this one a little. This is the outside of the foot now. Okay. First, I'm really feeling the gesture of the whole thing. This kept very simple. Foot is slightly raised up, so we're getting a, a, a. One of the things when you do have something raised up like this, what I suggest you do is to take it and actually give some kind of indication of the fact that it is raised by giving it a little bit of a shadow so it can come through. Now, very simple, very simple outside shape, just essentially getting the gesture. Now, as I come back into this, Come through, thinking of the bone, and going over the surface of the bone. Now, as I do this, I'm really conscious of the fact that there's two separate bones. There's the tibia and then the fibula. Now, as we take and pull down, I really try to feel that there's this corner coming across. And I want to feel this edge, the edge of the bone here. This point here. Then we're setting back to fibula coming down. So again, you're thinking of the angle across coming down. Here's the bone is coming through in here. Now, in this view, we feel then the calcaneus is quite high here. The leg, the foot is raised up coming down. So I'm really thinking of the bone through here. And what's happening here now is that you have the these piranus uh, longus and brevis tendon here taking and coming across the end of this. So this is always a very prominent, prominent shape if there's any kind of uh, tension on that. So you want to feel, you want to feel that line coming through. And then with the muscle behind going through. This carries all the way down then to the uh, the brevis is going to the bone for the end of the bone for the little toe. And the longest is taken actually cutting underneath and goes all the way over to the underside of the uh, big toe here. Now come back in here and come back again is to feel the the Achilles tendon now coming down and pulling into this. And so we can feel the over the surface. And this is fitting in. We get the pull uh, behind. Now, as I draw it through this, I really take and visualize this whole section as having thickness. So quite often I'll take in and doing this, then I'm feeling that heel 
going under. But at the same time, I'm going over the surface of Julie using as the way of taking describing the pad and the bones as they come down. It actually takes and is also creating a tone that gives us a little bit of the dimension at the same time. Now we feel the pads, I'm going over and feel where the bone is coming through. Here. And I give the tone pushing the side to back here. Now, I back up. I want to feel the arch. Feel the bones coming out. Coming through. Now the change takes place now. And we're pushing down. And doing this, I'm taking the corner, bring the corner through this way. Now, we have those extensors, uh, brevis, taking, and this is what creates a shape in here. These muscles are taking, going diagonally across, I remember. So we can feel, and these are underneath. But a flex position like this, these are the shape becomes very strong. And if you have dancers, for instance, they become very, very, very pronounced. Now here you can feel the tendons uh, coming over the top of that. It's starting to pull down. Now, if we true, I'm looking to where the knuckle's little toe is, making it cross all the way over here, and visualizing again that plane underneath. Now, on the little toe side, it's not quite so obvious. The amount of wrapping underneath as we have on the big toe side. But even still, we take, we feel, feel that pull across, and then we start to take and come out. And so you're still feeling the knuckle coming through, coming out, stepping down, and through. It'll be very, 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 very subtle here. The bone is actually in the little toe is incredibly small. Then, again, as we work away, I take and go through steps, keeping it really quite simple now. Try to take and emphasize the break in between the toes. Big toe, as this comes forward, you feel the pull in you know, the tendon is coming pulling down through here. Now we feel the big toe coming off from behind and very clearly try to see the squareness of that knuckle. And as we take and we pull down, and the big toe itself now is going off in this direction. And the nail helps to take and show. Each time we're going through, you're going over these knuckles, feeling it, it becomes too easy to take and sort of lose sight or, or to not draw the actual form. They get preoccupied in just the shape that you want to take and really draw. Now, as this surface comes down, we want to feel, we have in this case, but we really got now let's emphasize this a bit. Really got his foot or heel off of the ground. So we've got we want to feel this pulling back. So we want to feel this pull pulling down to the surface. So we got this plane coming through. We can really feel the plane stepping down in here. Then the tendons are taking and coming through. And they're all running up. And we want to feel back in here, we get this hollow being created through. And we pull up along the side. And then we eventually we're getting up in here into the uh, solus and your gastronemius on top. Okay.
Now, the underside of the foot has its own particular problems in that it's, the tendency is to take and actually end up flattening it out. In other words, if we take and draw the shape of the foot coming down like this, it's going to look like an insert to a shoe. And then I talk about using, you know, it's like a pin the tail on the donkey type thing. So we have to really concentrate on pushing the idea that you have a series of planes. Even though you're dealing with very short distances, you have to really focus on the overlapping of the forms. Again, taking and basically seeing it quite simple to begin with. And as I pull, it, think of the going into the leg, I really focus on this is a cylinder. So cylinders going back and through. Well, feel the pull, foot coming out. Shape of the big toe. So I'm just blocking in a very generalized thing here to start with. Now, how you get away from this flat thing here is by really focusing on dimension. So I start here with the, the ball of the foot, the pad under the big toe. I'm really thinking of a corner. I'm envisioning going over the surface, feeling this volume. Maybe going around it has a has a side going back down on the other side where we would be going to the knuckle of the big toe. But I want to go out of my way to visualize this as a plane that is going back in. It's, again, it's like, the, like a cylinder. That's actually what the, what the bone is doing. Because we want to feel this surface pushing back in this way. And as I come back looking at the top side here, I want to be going back in and seeing how this is now fitting into the ankle. So we've got, going back to the ankle, the bone is in here, quite across. See, I mean, what I'm trying to do is avoid drawing a line directly across the form. I want to take and focus on the overlapping of these forms. So there's always some kind of air coming in between. Overlapping, overlapping. Keep working over the surface. Coming through, coming over, doing this, coming up front of this. So you can see those simple lines now, how they take and get the eye to take and move around. Now, when they come back into here, the idea is the same thing. This is a surface up here that's turning and going away. So what I do is I go up and over this surface now. It's pushing it back. And we can feel, we come down now, I take and we can lift up and pushing in. So here, so now I'm, all of this now is getting the sense of going back, down, and in. Now, so what is getting this going in, now we get the side of the heel coming out. I'm still going to pull you back, and I want to come back to me behind here. I feel that, that Achilles tendon coming down. And the actual bone on is going over in here. I feel the pull down. So as I go through, I'm pushing down in here. I want to feel this side. I want to feel the whole side of the heel now coming up. And as I come across this part, I'm focusing on the fact that this is a corner across here. It's come through and this changes direction going down. So I'm focusing all the time on trying to give this dimension to this thing. So we can feel as I'm drawing this thing, and then I'm taking and showing the side of this heel. And it'll taper over as we come across over to here. And this part of the foot comes to the pad on the outside of the foot. So 
So I go over here, then I'm taking and pushing now the corner. I'm over through, and then I'm coming across on this surface. So I can actually use a tone coming through. I could take and actually think of this as a way of drawing that is focusing on maybe the idea of the core coming down and using reflected light then to take and show the area. But this is basically drawing planes. Now it comes through. Now as this comes up this way, uh, taking in, I push this back, uh, letting this pick up a little bit of light, and then I come back over to, and now here I'm taking and drawing the actual feeling of where that bone, the little toe would be coming through, or actually thinking of it as a joint in here. Now come over, surface is turning, going down. So now we have these very clear cut, clear cut planes that are taking place. I'll leave this a little bit more light in here, and as I come down through, start to pick up these pads a bit more. So now, if I come through, I can be taking in. I've got this really stepping back now. Come around. I can still take and put a bit of a corner in here, so we can feeling this is coming forward and feel as we stepping down and to the center as we go through here, pushing down, letting the light hit in here, then as I come back up, pushing the tone coming through and around the pad in the center. Now, as we were talking uh, with the other things of really feeling, there's a, a mentioning idea of using a, like an amputation. We want to feel this surface comes across Changes direction, goes down. This is thick across here. We could take and feel this pull. So now the pad comes up. The knuckle is back here, and the knuckle is in here. The pad is coming to at least the halfway. So what I do is now I want to go over. I'm drawing this. I'm drawing this. I'm really thinking now this is a this is a cylinder right through here. So this line itself then is indicating the volume. So as I come through, I'm going over this surface. Same way I'm going over a cylinder. I'm feeling the pad, feeling this coming out of here. So now we can see the thickness that is taking place through here. And I'm feeling the corners, it's going aside. Now the big toe itself. Now, in this view, I'm not seeing the actual knuckle, but the whole big toe, the shape now, we actually have the sense of three pads on the big toe. Two here, and one on the end. Now, again, to give this dimension, you have to think of a side to a bottom. So I'm using, again, the tone as a means of taking and coming through and giving us a side, coming through, feeling an end and dropping through. So now you can very clearly see, you can see this shaft fitting into that. So we keep looking at these shapes then. We're going over and feeling the overall pattern now that comes through. Now, in drawing the toes, you have to keep in mind that here I was drawing a cylinder. While we go through, you actually have a succession of cylinders that you're taking and dealing with. So that you have to visualize these fragments as we take and start to go through. Now, here I can actually get a feel a piece of, this, of the knuckle up here, going through right over. I'm thinking of a cylinder going through. Well, maybe going down to the next knuckle going through. And then taking a second section. So you're really, I'm drawing these cylinders. Now, let's take and block in simply here before I get too far along. 
overlapping so now Useful. The thing that makes a cylinder understandable is the action of the line going over it. So when we have the opportunity of using, say, a cast shadow from a toe, it becomes a means of taking and showing the volume. So I can take and come through and then getting the pad by taking and going around over the surface. Here, this is really all stepping down quite a bit, so we see very little now of the actual joints. This, of course, here would be in tone. And I'm pulling, feeling the space in between. Right? You feel this has a surface that's going down. And here, can you cross? Never miss an opportunity to take and show overlapping, going over, going around, and of course all of this would be in tone. And we push the lift back, I can even get a little bit more going through, and we can come in and hit the corner here a little bit stronger. But in doing this, I've left the path for the eye to take and travel around and through so that we haven't cut it off like we would a shoe pad. <laughs>